hi what's up in today's video we are going to be creating you know uh you know jota wedding jota in corridor 2020 without further ado let's step into it here are the images that we are going to be using so right now let's step into it so let's go over how to uh you know uh you know uh, let's change it to a4 which is a normal size of jota then you go over and double click on, on rectangle to automatically snap into page then we make a copy to the other side when you get to your the other side right click automatically it's copy paste so right now what we are going to do next we are making use of, of this you know uh Im two images so let's slant it so if you want to slant this image you click once again then you point your mouse to the edge or of the object then you drag hold control key on your keyboard okay, then you release so right now what we are going to do right now is to bitmap this let's bitmap this convert to bitmap good so right now what we are doing right now let's create an object on top of this you know uh image just like so so let's sample the color of this uh guy then point on this object that we created good so right now copy that as well paste it right here so this time we are making it white good so right now let's back clip this group it back clip it into the object look at back clip then place inside frame select the frame good so right now let's just adjust just like so so in this case let's bring in this picture so what we are going to be doing right now let's cut part of this picture a little bit up just like so good then back clip into place then you go over and select that then you adjust just like so the right it's good then let's position it so well let's zoom it zoom it up then drag it out a bit good perfect then you reduce a little bit make it bigger a little bit so let's bring in this you know uh, design that we've designed for them you know previously so let's paste it right there so what next right now is to go over and uh, bring this to the to this place this test then let's adjust that so so let's reduce it a little bit thanks for honoring the engagement of our children so in this case we are bringing in you know their names then the dates So right now let's adjust that so in this case we are changing this to uh, blue so right now what we're gonna be doing right now is let's position this you know dates just to the to this side so let's create you know a love symbol so how to create this let me show you so locate your bezier to then you no 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 the easiest way let's use a, a rectangle to create an object just like so right click convert to golf then double click use your shape to double click the note to appear that double click then you right click on the line to convert to golf then you pull this angle angle up pull this angle just like so put this a little bit then pull it forward then adjust this a little bit just like so good put this down a little bit good so make a copy of this the other side then 
Let's wear it all up. Then make it copy downwards. Then get your destination. You right click. Then you select the two combine. So in this case right now, what we are doing right now is to sample the color right here. So use your color eyedropper to sample this color right here. Then let's pour it on this place. Good. So right now what we're gonna be doing is to tweak this a little bit. So so what we are going to do right now is to click it once again, then tweak it just like this slant it then make a copy of that right click copy then you pull it put it right here good make a copy again so in this case let's mirror it a bit then reduce that a little bit good so let's type and shorthand on that good so let's position that here good change it to blue position is so well good position is so well good so can you see that so let's adjust this so right now let's select that group it all up then position is so well good so let's reduce it a little bit then let's bring this up a bit then create a line in between that which you pull with your uh, brazier tool just like so then hit on F12 a dialog box pops up then you change it to 2 let's make that you know dotted line good it's okay so right now we are getting there so what we're going to do now is to go over and create, you know, center it within that. Then you go over and create, you know, a line with your brazier tool right here. When you get your destination, you just click. Then you let's thicken it all up. Hit on F12, the dollar pops up, and make it one. Good. So right now we are good to go. Center it within the object. Let's pull it up a bit good so right now let's go back to the back of the jota so what we are going to be doing is to change this back to this color can you see that good can you see that so let's make a copy of their picture right here extract the content so we are making use of this picture delete the rest of the job. so what we're going to do now is to bitmap this convert to bitmap then you change it right from here to grayscale it's okay good let's go over to your uh, transparency to click on that then hit on uniform transparency then So right from here, let's change it to a uh, subtract. Good. Then let's put a clip it into place. Then adjust that a little bit. Good. So can you see the outcome of what created so far? So thanks for following me don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that other people can benefit from what we are sharing right now so bye for now see you in the next video